Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pooja and Joe's wedding reception. How's everybody doing this evening? My name is Naveen Sharma, and I'm honored and blessed here to be here this evening as your DJ and master of ceremonies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever as husband and wife, let's welcome our new bride and groom, Pooja and Joe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome our wedding party. First, starting with junior bridesmaids, Monty Mehta and Rhea Mehta. Now, Monty is Pooja's youngest sister. She is famous for using Pooja's Netflix account until it's all maxed out. But most recently, she finally passed her driver's test. Rhea is Pooja's younger cousin, and she is here with us today all the way from Columbus, Ohio. She is involved in everything, but she is most famous for having the longest hair you've ever seen. Let's hear it for Monty Munchkin Mehta and Rhea Mehta. Next, Katie Johnson and Matt Waite. Katie and Pooja have known each other for nine years. She has come all the way here from Florida with her husband, Robert. If you ever go on vacation with Katie, don't be surprised if she disappears like she did on spring break. Pooja and Katie will be sorority sisters for life, and I know Katie is going to make it rain on the dance floor tonight. Matt is one of Joe's oldest friends here with us today. They first met in the third grade, where Matt used to annoy the teacher more than anyone else. We hope to see Matt on the big screen in the next Jurassic Park movie. Let's hear it for Katie, Kate Doug Johnson, and Matt Waits. Sarah Dickman and Fred Russell. Sarah is a friend and fellow sorority sister of Pooja's. She has come all the way here from Columbus, Ohio, but she would travel 1,000 miles not to miss Pooja and Joe's wedding. She eats healthy and loves to cook. And guys, sorry, she is taken. Back when Pooja and Joe were dating, Sarah threatened to beat up Joe if he did not take care of her girl Pooja. Joe and Fred met 10 years ago during their engineering classes and they became group members. Fred loves to play video games, drive to Burger King in the middle of the night for chicken fries, and he had a ponytail all throughout college. Maybe this explains why he's still single. Every time he says the word shenanigans tonight, everyone take a shot. I don't go in for these backdoor shenanigans. Please welcome Sarah, Mama Dickman, and Fred Russell. Brandy McClurg and Matt Pulley. They're scared. <laughs> Brandy and Joe have known each other for a long time. After all, they are siblings. Brandy is the older, wiser, and clumsier sibling, according to Joe. She is married with three wonderful kids and loves to read, do arts and crafts, and turn her kids into little geniuses. Pooja and Joe hope to be as good parents as Brandy and her husband, Timon. Matt and Joe met seven years ago during their time in the Triangle Fraternity. Matt is originally from Kentucky and now lives in South Carolina. Matt loves to party and he even got married on St. Patrick's Day. Welcome Brandy, Carrot, Top, and Clurd, and Matt Pulley. And next, Kristen Seguin and Leo Glass. Kristen and 
Jeff first met in middle school 15 years ago. When she is not working out or shopping, she spends free time making fun of Pooja. Kristen once got blamed for tripping Pooja during tennis practice. She must have had a blonde moment. Kenny, you thought I was just in a bubble-headed blonde bimbo. Well, the jokes on you, I'm not even a real blonde. Leo and Joe met seven years ago in college in our triangle fraternity brothers. If Leo would stop talking so much, he could finish developing all those video games and have more time to read. Welcome, Kristen Seguin and Leo Glass. Ellie Serrato and Brian Broad. Ellie is Joe's younger sister and recent graduate of Ohio State University as a civil engineer. She loves to play video games, which is why she never answers her phone when Joe calls. Joe has threatened all of Ellie's ex-boyfriends, but he loves Kyle. So Kyle, if you're here tonight, stay on his good side. Brian and Joe first met in the ninth grade, and Brian lives here locally in Ohio. Brian loves to work on his car, go off-roading, play video games, and is most likely to wear the same pair of underwear for 20 years. Thank God I wore underwear today. Let's hear it for Ellie Serrato and Brian Broad. <laughs> Katrina Selig and Mark Arn. Katrina and Pooja have known each other since third grade, where they used to put on makeup and dance like Spice Girls. <laughs> Katrina loves Italian food, but she does not know how to cook. Thankfully, there is an olive garden near her house. Pooja can't wait to spend more time with Katrina once she moves back to Ohio. Mark and Joe are childhood friends, first meeting back in the seventh grade. Mark is from Kentucky, but now lives in Ohio as a CNC operator. Does anyone know what that is? He loves watching sports and home improvement, and doing home improvement. And when he is not home, his wife Diane hires professionals to fix his work. Mark claims to be four minutes older than his twin brother, and he is a lifelong Cleveland sports fan. Let's welcome Katrina Selig and Mark Arn. Artie Desponde and Tom Arn. Artie and Pooja have known each other for 13 years. Artie is originally from India and now lives in Ohio. Artie loves to exercise, watch Star Wars movies, and tell people they are terrible drivers. Tom and Joe are also childhood friends, and guess what? Tom is Mark's younger twin brother but only by four minutes, and he loves to push Mark's buttons. Tom loves hiking, Ohio State football, and he has the world's greatest job. Please welcome Artie, R2-D2, Despande, and Tom R. Oscar Dabe and Kamil Kamali. Ashka is Pooja's cousin, originally from Kansas City, and now lives in Chicago. She works in healthcare, but she, had she been in Ohio, she would have been drafted to be Pooja's wedding planner. <laughs> Kamal and Joe are triangle fraternity brothers. Kamal is from Kenya, but now lives in Canada. I am Canadian! Kamal is best known for not answering his phone. Maybe he is busy playing video games. Welcome, Ashka Dave and Kamal Kamrali. Jane Estefan and Tim Garcia. Pooja first met Jane on the bus on their way to the first day of pharmacy school 
in Chicago. Jade eventually grew to be Punta's best friend and biggest supporter while together in Chicago, in spite of the fact that Jade doesn't have a filter. Tim Garcia, originally from Mexico, is currently a PhD candidate in nuclear engineering and will most likely win a Nobel Peace Prize if he can keep from putting his foot in his mouth. Joe and Tim are lifelong fraternity brothers and Joe considers him a scholar and a gentleman. Please welcome Jane Estefan and Tim Garcia. Ami Patel and Nakul Bias. Ami Patel loves eating chocolate and watching Bollywood movies. She hopes to one day marry Shah Rukh Khan. Good morning. She first met Pooja when she was two years old and was her very first friend. And Pooja knows that she and Ami will be friends for a lifetime. Nicole has just recently got to know Joe in the last few years, even though Nicole lives in New York. Nicole was a lifetime student who finally graduated. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. I know. They're called doctors. This is why Nicole is known for totally owning you in any worldly discussion. Let's hear it for little Ami Patel and Nicole Gulu Vyas. And now our VIPs, Maid of Honor, Priya Mehta, and best man, Mike Serato. We're going to have some fun with this one. They say that people crazy enough to think they can actually change the world are the ones that do. Priya will most definitely grow up to change the world. She'll change it with her near-perfect portrayal of love, recently graduated from Miami University, and now working with Teach for America, Priya truly is in a position to be the leader that everyone around her knows she will be. And when she's not busy changing the world or whining about something, she loves playing with her dog, Oliver, reading the Hunger Games, and doing what she does best, looking pretty. She's even been known to climb a tree or two. And then we have Mike. Where do I begin with Mike? Although he is Joe's older brother, Joe really thinks of him as his best friend. They say there's a little bit of redneck in all of us. And every family tree has a bubba somewhere in its branches. And the Serato family, you're looking at it. People call me bubba. It's like one of them old redneck bubbas. Can you believe that? Joe and his family knew they had a bubba on hand when Mike was wrestling with his cousin Nick and hit his tooth, giving him that unmistakably bubba smile. <laughs> then as he got older, he dragged everyone to country music concerts like Jamie Johnson. Even poor Pooja was forced to attend. And then something amazing happened that finally gave Mike's life direction and meaning. Something that would forever put him on the straight and narrow path to greatness. No, I'm not talking about his wife Tammy. I'm talking about the cable TV show Duck Dynasty. Finally, Mike had the role models he had always hoped to find. There they were, right in front of him, millionaire rednecks. Please welcome our VIPs, Bria Mehta and Mike Serato. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for your entire wedding party.